This is the third year that we're doing the Abstercades Academy at the Super Sports Shootout, and we're just finding it more and more valuable for these guys to prove that caddying is actually a career and not just um, someone carrying a bag for a golfer. It's actually a partnership with the player and we're just giving these guys an opportunity to upskill themselves, showcase um, caddying as a, as a career and uh, just show them where they can actually take it, um, the opportunities where they can go. You know, they can end up on the European tour as some of our caddies from previous academies have. That's how we caddy for these international players. That's why South African caddies are the best in the world. So again for the third year we've got Simon and Justice. Um, Simon was uh, Ernie Els caddy for 29 years and Justice was uh, Charles caddy uh, again for a number of years. They've both been around the world with their players and they're just really imparting their knowledge on what it takes to become a caddy. Both from being out on the course, uh, from managing their player off the course which is almost equally as important as on the course. Uh, managing the clubs, managing all the elements for um, the players themselves. As mentioned earlier, it's an, it's an absolute partnership. The, the player can't win without the caddy. Um, and the caddy needs to be able to know his player inside and out, raise him and, and raise the player to, to get the, the player's game to a certain level. So important, I'm a caddy. Caddying, it's me, it's in my blood. And it is important that our caddies that are interested in progressing in this industry should be taught. It's no longer just carrying a bag and no, no, today it's about business. So it's proper that they are well prepared. I've said it to APSA two or three years ago. I said, I, I like the vision, but we must also grow it. I can see we're growing. I'll tell the golfers who's going to hire these guys that they they better than before because of we went through and teach them the skill that they were using on tour. To be trusted, to give him a chance to be able to expose himself. I think it's the best program I've seen today. It's getting better and better. And I say thanks for APSA to bring this up. That's why I felt that it's worthwhile to join them because APSA is bringing what we would like to see coming out to Katie's all the time. But And I hopefully, I mean, this is going further and further for these kids to understand that they, it is, you know, you, you, you need to be taught by some people that have been around this game. You can't just come out and do it yourself. Tomorrow we've got the regional golf day, and then on the weekend we've got the, the shootout, uh, the full tournament, where the guys are going to be able to caddy for uh, the country's leading sportsmen, businessmen and, and politicians. They're going to be able to showcase themselves, they're going to be able to showcase their skills, and who knows what opportunities lie there for them. Uh, we'll be watching them and, and grading them over the, the three days and the leading caddy um, that we, we feel has justified will be winning 5,000 Rand in cash. Um, we've also offered um, the caddies the opportunity of financial training through our Ready to Work program because again it's not just about the role on the course, it's being able to manage their finances and assist the player with, with managing their finances.